time no see. It's me, your old buddy Sarge. And one would think that my starring role in adventures in game chasing would have led to instant superstardom, but no. Instead, Seventh locked me in a tool shed for five years, which, let's be honest, isn't really that much different than my usual living conditions thanks to my wife's lack of uh, housekeeping skills. That ain't what you married me for and you know it. You're right, woman. Her father offered me three whole mules. So why am I back, you may ask? Well, it's simple. Justin Silverman of Retroware personally reached out to me and asked me to review their new game, Iron Meat. You know, it's quite coincidental. That was my nickname in high school, you know. Iron Meat. Your nickname is, was, and always will be Sarge. Yes, yes, all right. Way to ruin my joke. Yes, my nickname is Sarge. No, I was never a cop. No, I was never in the military. It's short for so large. Thanks for nothing, Papaw. So without further ado, let's take a look at some iron meat. He says that every time we shop at the adult movie store. Shut up. Well, it looks like we're on the moon. And, uh, oh dear. Looks like, uh, that's a giant hemorrhoid just blew out of that test tube. Man, it's just amazing how much more devastating irritable bowel syndrome is in low gravity. <laughs> Tetsuo! Canada! Okay, that was a good one. I'll allow it. Okay, here we go. I'm playing on easy, because normally I'd need a 30-man cheat code for a game like this, but easy mode already comes with 30 lives, and thanks to my arthritis, I can't type in 30-man cheat codes fast enough no more. So thank you, Iron Meat developers, for being so accessible and inclusive to old fat guys who aren't any good at retro games anymore. Boy, I tell you what, this game has given me a serious case of deja vu. It's deja vu, you dipstick. Whatever. It reminds me an awful lot of something else. I just, I just can't put my finger on it. You ain't been able to put your finger on it or anything else in 15 years. Look at it, Cletus. It's smiling ah! at you. She blinded me with Moose Knuckle! The controls are tight as hell. Every time I die, rest assured, it's not the game's fault. It's my wife's fault for distracting Screw me. Screw you, Cletus! The graphics look 32-bit. They have that Mega Man on PS1 look. If Mega Man could rip limbs off and splatter innards all over the screen. Ah! Oh, sweet baby Jesus! Oh! That's the scariest looking Chattanooga choo-choo I've done ever seen. I'm man enough to admit, that made me do a Chattanooga doo-doo in my overall. Like you need to be scared for that to happen. Thank Christ Almighty I'm sterile. The weapons, for the most part, are straight out of Contra. Contra, yeah, yeah, there you go. It plays like Contra. I knew I would remember it eventually. He says the same thing on our anniversary every year and on my birthday. That's very true, but the difference here is Contra actually matters. You have two guns cocked and ready to go just like in Contra 3, but you can also level them up by collecting extra pickups of the same power up. And there ain't nothing never wrong with more power. More power is good. There's unlockables in the game, but they don't affect the gameplay at all. They're just different costumes to wear while you play, which is okay, I guess. I've learned over the years that just dressing up different can spice things up more than you'd realize. Yeah, but you're far too fat to fit into anything sexy, Cletus. Well, I guess that's just karma, woman, since I can still fit inside you, but the last thing you are is sexy. Well, damn, I, I guess I left myself open for that one, didn't I? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You, you most certainly, most certainly did. did. Get it? There's an echo. Because she has a deep, cavernous... Shut up, Cletus. God's honest truth, I love the music. And in a particularly nice touch, you can choose between more realistic tracks or an 8-bit chiptune version of the same song. I'll probably always keep it on the default, but hell, I do like having the choice. Sure wish I could choose what my wife sounded like. Why? What would you make me sound like if you could change it? The 
peace and serenity of the grave. You kiss the deepest, darkest, fattest part of my... And that, my friends, is Iron Meat. I gotta say, this is the most satisfying retro-inspired indie game I've played since Infernax. In fact, I'd say it's actually a better representation of, uh... Of, uh... Uh, the, the, the game that inspired it, then the most recent installment from, uh, from, uh, 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 the series that inspired it. Not least of all because Konami wouldn't give me a review copy of their newest game, and most of all because Konami sucks. Uh, uh Gertrude, uh, you best be getting my pills, honey. I, I, I think I just had a biting moment. All oh, you have are biting moments, you senile old fart. When you gonna hurry up and die and leave me some insurance money? You ain't getting nothing. I'm leaving it all to Johnny Depp. Iron Meat gets a 7 out of 7. In fact, I liked it so much, I bought the physical version with my very own government assistance check. And I suggest you do the same thing. I'm Sarge, and this has been another Redneck Retro Review. Until next time, be sweet, y'all.